Thank you guys for joining us today. Today I am joined by the FX Goats. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, what's up, guys? Are you guys good? I'm good, good. man. So obviously today we are here to talk about you guys, your story, where you guys started. I, I believe there are a lot of stories that people are going to want to hear from you guys. So let's actually go to the beginning, beginning, before Forex right now. What was life like for each of you? Okay. Okay, uh, yeah. I'll let my team start. Okay, I can start <laughs> first. Um, for us, we're actually coming from uh, like an unprivileged background, you understand? Yeah. So back then... Ah, the, the aim goal for us was to make sure at least we get to get to a point where we're living off on a better life. Yeah. You know? sure. So from there, we started 2017. 2017, we were back in, in Kasi, we called it the hood, yeah. and we came to the Val. The reason we came 2017 to the Val yeah. was because of school. Man, we couldn't focus on school because <laughs> people are thinking about what to study. Me, I'm thinking, what am I going to eat tomorrow? Yeah. So that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. And you, Jago, yo. Uh, same thing, basically. Uh, I came to the vow because I was accepted to do law at Northwest University. That's where it gets to come to your face that you come from a very disprivileged like female. You really have to work hard. Okay, fine, with your studies and whatever. But at the end of the day, you, you cannot study when you're hungry. You need something. Fine, NS Fast is there, but at the end of the day, it's not enough. You need something else. So then that's where I started with a... Forex as well, because I saw yeah, there were guys who were very big at the time who really inspired me. And then I, I also I wish that one day I become like them. Yeah. Okay, no, no problem. You, Andy? Yeah, so I don't really relate much to them because um, <laughs> it's, 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 I'm not from a, a, an unprivileged family. Mm. At the same time, I'm not from a rich family. My life before Forex, it was modeling. Mm. I used to have a friend who used to tra transport me to every pageant or item modeling gig that I have. Um, so every time we're in the car, he'll be looking at charts and I'll be like, yeah. what's that? Are you yeah, playing yeah, a game or yeah. what's going on? <laughs> you know? So that's how I got introduced oh, okay. to, to Forex trading. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now that's cool. So yeah. to the twins right now, uh, I watched one of your videos. I think it's a very old video of you yeah. guys. You guys spoke about losing money and like you lost money yeah. and all that. Wait, was this before you guys met or when you guys had met? Before we met. Them. Before yeah. we met. Okay. Basically, yeah. we tried to fund 2A. That's the problem. Okay. The skill was there, but now no proper risk management to apply our trades. Mm. So we're losing a lot of money. The as far as money that came in blow. And as money came in blow. <laughs> so the thing is. <laughs> When you get to a point where you're learning how to trade, yeah. Yeah. when you win a lot, like it goes straight to your yeah. head. You feel yeah, like, yeah, yeah now yeah, I'm yeah, a god. Yeah. We we never properly understood what is proper risk management. Okay. Like yeah. even that time, let's say for example, we took a loss. It would yeah. have been just a minor loss. Overall, we're yes, winning like yes. 10 trades, win one loss, you're winning. Yeah. But what we did, whatever we're winning, all in. Whatever, all in, all, in, all yeah. in. So they came through as well, they gave us the money. I'm afraid to, let's get it, GPUSD, bye. bye. And then what happened, we had to explain what happened, so now we lost completely all the time. Yeah, even, even our friends so left now us. So everyone was, left. Like we hit rock bottom that time. Between, yeah. You yeah. are broke, you are okay. also in debt. Yo. Yeah, uh, and then what we learned on that day was, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a good or a bad trader. Okay. What matters is how you apply your trades, the proper risk management, because even if, let's say you're a great trader, and then you win five times, but you lose once it's over, then that means you're not a good trade. So right now, it's a couple years later, you guys are mm. like big. <laughs> you know, like, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you guys are actually one of the biggest it. names in the industry right yeah. now, yeah. you know, if we're being honest right yeah. now. But, you, uh, but I believe you guys have FX Goats, which is the umbrella of the company, and you're all yeah. running your individual businesses. Yeah. So how do you guys maintain that standard? So, so when it comes to us, you you would see mo in most cases people don't actually succeed in joint businesses. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the reason can be misunderstanding and all of that. So when, with us, we came with the rule that let let's 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 understand each other first before we can initiate something. That's when we discovered. Okay, so Tumelo is good at this. So Andil is good at this. Jaguar is good at this, and Tapelo is good at this. For us to avoid fighting. Let me not give what's supposed to be on Tumelo, on me, because I'm not going to be, be able to handle the task. Rather, he handles that, I handle this, and he handles it the same way. Yeah. That's, that's when the, 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 the relationship becomes more easier because we know when it's time for this, who we do look at. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you guys have given out so much free content on YouTube. Like it's yeah. it's unbelievable, honestly, guys. Like and I and I commend you guys for doing that. But like, yeah. why though? Like, what's oh. the motive behind that? You wanna take Can it? I explain? Yeah. Sure. Uh, this is the reason why. Because we come from unprivileged backgrounds, so it's important for people who who were who were where we were mm -hmm. to basically see now there's another way instead of um just trying to do illegal things or end up not having a future. In order for us to receive blessings, we must start giving. Mm. So now, who are the people who want to give the most? The people who are like us, the people who need, the yeah. people who don't even have the means to pay for people's mentorship. Mm. The aim was, the reason we're sharing is because we just want people to win. We, we're trying to give them content. We want them to be able to enrich themselves. Even though now they have the skills, they, they're able to, to enrich themselves, they can come join us and come in together. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's okay. the aim. So, yeah, no, so like cool. maybe to, just to add on that, it's, it's, it's just a matter of fact that, um, you know, I, I, I've, I've been living by the rule to say, you need to give to earn for you to live and learn. And there are people who are privileged to get the premium side mm -hmm. of teaching, but there are also those ones who can't. Sharing my, my light doesn't mean I'm losing my shine. Mm -hmm. So that's what we believe in. Like we believe in, in, in helping. We, the, the only thing I remember we wanted is to just to get that one person who would say, because of FS Code, yeah, my life yeah, changed. Yeah. 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 That's, 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 yeah. that's been all this time. As long as you can impact one person. One person, you're done. done. Yeah. yeah. That's Knowledge the, yeah. is power. No, guys, that's great, guys. So yeah. anyway, I'm going to go to Tapeda right now. We're going to talk about uh, a, a bit more trading talk right now. Yeah. Yeah. So um, when, it comes to uh, when it comes to technical analysis, what, what should one focus on the most? So basically, before you want to approach uh, technical analysis, the first thing you need to do is that you need to now find the direction of how you're going to basically approach the market. So what's, what's important uh, in terms of technical analysis is how you're going to find your support and resistances, your low and high of the day, finding a trend you're in to now know, are you looking for more buys or more sales? Mm -hmm. For you to get that, you need to understand that there's three things you need to focus on. Number one, long-term trading. Secondly, uh, uh, mid-term trading, and then primary trading. I'm gonna explain all of them. The first one, you need to see the overall market, which is a weekly analysis. And then secondly, you need to go to daily to now see what is the high and low of the day. Mm -hmm. So meaning if you had the high of the day, you know you're looking for sales. If you had the low of the day, you know you're looking for buys. So now after seeing now you're looking for high and low of the day, you need to go into a four hour, one hour, 30 minutes to now look what can I trade on this day. So now that I'm seeing I'm at the low of the day, now going deeper for entries. It's important. So now in entries, what you need to look at now is that you need to focus on property management, which is the last part of trigger analysis. So when you get to the last point, you need to see that you're going to risk how much in order for you in order for you to know how much are you willing to lose mm -hmm. so yeah basically that's how you say it's a proper way to approach the analysis okay yeah that's cool and i know you also a funder a fundamental Fundamentals, trader yes, but yes. you'll find that most of the time you know people are like more technical more fundamental but like how do you balance being a technical yeah be, being a technical trader and a fundamental trader okay i would say that uh you first need to understand fundamental analysis Fundamental analysis, many people think it creates direction, but it only creates volatility. Meaning that it creates big moves in the market, but it doesn't mean that it gives the direction. So in order for you to understand on how to approach fundamentals, you need to now use technicals. You know that if today I'm at the low of the day, fundamentals on this low of the day are expecting to be a bullish momentum. And then now when you check fundamentals, you see now the market is basically showing that uh, they're looking blue, like you see, uh, for example, let's say you are trading uh, in terms of currencies, you are trading USD pairs. You see, okay, now, in terms of USD, I'm seeing uh, who's who's now the biggest person in USD? Who's Biden. Big? Exactly. Biden. You look now, uh, Biden, in terms of fundamentals, yeah. is, there, is, is there any speech today that is going to say? Now you see, okay, fundamentals are coming. How can I use fundamentals together with technical analysis yeah. to have basically a way forward? Can I add yeah. a point? Actually, using fundamentals and technical it's called sentimental sentimental yes. analysis is when you are able to understand that you might have your technical traits yeah. but because there's news it might affect your trade. it doesn't mean you're wrong yeah. but because there's news effect you you go, even if you have your technical traits or you need to understand what's happening on the fundamental side mm -hmm. hence we call it sentimental okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. just like he said um, news create volatility not direction yeah. so what people get wrong at times is a matter of fact that they think just because news are there as a cell 
the market will, will forever sell. Yeah. Now, nah. sometimes as Tapilo just said, if maybe we're reaching at the rock bottom of the of the, the low of the day, right? News might as well create a spike down, and then most of the, most of the traders would think maybe it's a change off of a setup. Now yeah. we're selling, only to find out it's just just like completion of news. Then we continue with the direction. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now so that's the simplicity. Yeah. And to you, Andy, uh, what's the nature of trading? When it comes to the nature of trading, people think that Forex is actually about what you put on the charts and whatever and all of that. But actually, if you can look at it, Forex is psychological. It's, a look, it's psychological, yeah. yeah. But what I mean by that is that there's basics that you need to follow for you to have a long-term profitability um, streak, right? This means that we have in, in, in the market, we have two directions, right? Uh, we have we buy or we sell, right? And then we have only two moves which is an impulse and a correction. So that's the nature of the market. The nature of the market, we know we impulse and then we correct. You just need to follow those. You look at the correction. Is the correction continuation pattern? Is it a reversal pattern? Or is it like um, a, 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 a large version of a correction? That's when we can actually get our entry urges. So that's for me when it comes to the nature of the market. Two things, impulse and correction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So like what's the most important aspect of staying a, a profitable trader? Um, one of I, I would say it's discipline. Mm. You know, when it comes to trading, um, what's what what's more important is is this discipline. You know, because just to make an example about background, um, I was in a point whereby I would place a trade and then we put a phone down. Five minutes, you are back. Yo, I'm losing. Down. Hey, I'm back. It, that creates a chat zombie. But if you discipline yourself and you follow your trading rules, that's how it works. If I say Andile, on your trading plan, you said you only enter on a correction. Why am I entering on an impulse? Do you understand? If you follow your rules properly, then you're destined to, your, to, to, to forever success. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Jaguar. Yes. yes. As a scalper trader, how many times a day do you trade? Yo, uh, as a scalper trader, basically let us define what is a scalper yeah. trader for those of you who don't know. You know, a scalper is a person who gets into the market, and catches volatility and gets out. You actually catch those small movements. You don't hold a trade for the longest time. You just catch those big movements, make your money, go drink, go do whatever you want to do at that particular time and moment. So as a scalper trader, I'm looking for those short movements that going to give me a lot of money. But during the day, whatever time, but I trade as much as I can. But I also have my hours where I know I only trade on what? On New York session. I know my New York session is at this particular time in South African time. That's where I'm expecting those big movements to take place so that I can enter and then take my take profit probably around about three o'clock uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in the afternoon. I know that's where I'm done for the day. So as a scalper trader, what's important is for you to know your take profit, your stop loss, your entry levels. It goes together with what Anila was saying, knowing, having your trading plan, knowing at what time do I enter, mm. what time do I exit, and what time should I stop? So, you know, the problem is what? And the problem is that's where you do not know now, when should I get out? Yeah. And then also when you are losing as well, when should I cut my losses now? But then when you become then a, a swing trader, that's where you know I'm entering here, I can hold a trade for a week, mm. I can hold a trade for two weeks, I can hold a trade it for a year mm -hmm. even. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but as a, as, 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 a, as a scalper trader, you are very quick, you yeah. get in, go out. Okay. Exynos offers a free demo trading account for beginner traders to trade on. The demo account interface is ideal for traders who want to practice their strategies or learn to trade without incurring any trading risks or losses. You can practice trading in a 100% risk-free environment. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot of people out here who are trading small accounts. Yes, yes, and yes. All that. And you guys, that's actually one of the, the key messages you guys actually yeah. touch yes, on. Yes, yes, yeah. on uh, educating people on how to grow small accounts. Yes, yeah. So to Jaguar again, um, what is the one thing that people need to focus on when growing a small account? You know, when you're growing a small account, first thing first that you must have in mind is having a target. You cannot expect with a $100 account, I'm going to make $1 million. <laughs> Just have reasonable <laughs> targets. Yeah. Like, just know what, okay, fine, this is the minimum amount I've put, because not all of us are well off to say we're going to fund our account with 100000 mm. But we also help our students, like, you can take a $100 account to 500 and then, 
obviously gonna withdraw 500 that's a lot that's more than even 100 percent of the amount that you put in so what's important is also to use proper risk management do not give your account like for example you're trading hundred dollar account you are, you, are, you are placing a trade of load size one what do you expect obviously it's gonna blow mm. so one thing that is important is proper risk management and also having good targets knowing okay fine if i enter here on my support i'm gonna go out on my resistance or even before i know my take profit one is actually even before even the resistance if i break above the resistance i know that i'm having my stop loss just below on the on the previous support i know now i'm moving to another high so then that's where it goes basically it, you don't have to be a chat zombie but at the same time you set your targets by putting your stop losses and your take profits in the right positions every yeah. time and also uh, you, you do not like hold for too long man you don't hold for too long when you are when you are yeah. trading small accounts you get in you get out more like it's good when you're also a scalper trade it works better when you're a scalper trader than yeah. a swing trader yes mm. Okay, now that's perfect. Let's talk about the psychology of a winning trader because I, I believe that's very important yeah. for a person to see themselves as a winner as well, but also the psychology behind that. Okay. Yeah, what does that mean to you? Okay, for me, psychology of a winning trader, I would say, is the biggest thing about Forex, basically. If you're going to be trading Forex, you, you can focus on technical analysis. That's when you are improving your ability to analyze and predict possible next moves. Mm. But if you don't have the psychology of a winning trader, you're not going to go anywhere. When you are a, when you're in a winning streak, don't let your wins go to your head because that can easily happen. When you're winning a lot, you, you become overconfident. Now, you even increase lot sizing. You disrespect everything you know because you're calling yourself a god. So when you mm. win, don't let your wins go to your head. And when you lose, don't let your losses go to the heart because the time you're losing, that's when you even want to quit for it. Ah, this thing. Yeah. Yeah. This game. Yeah. Ah, it comes from there. It goes there. That's what, yeah. yeah. So just discipline yourself. If you're losing, just understand it's a stage, it's going to pass. Yeah. You can't win all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's talk about price action because I know a lot of people <laughs> tend to focus on price action. Yeah. And it, it, it works for some people, doesn't work for some people. But for you, you, you trade price action, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. So how did you eventually get to the place of like trusting your own price action analysis? Mm. For me, I would say the most important thing about understanding price action is that if you're analyzing the market, you can't just be analyzing for the purpose of just analyzing. You are analyzing by the people to find setups, right? When you analyze, you only trade setups. Meaning, even though I've, I've analyzed, if there's no setup, then there's no trades. Mm -hmm. So for me, price action comes in a way whereby I know my price action, they give me my, they give me my setups. So I only trade setups. If we have no setups, we have no trades. Yeah, yeah so anyway, yeah. we've come to the end of the interview right now, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. But before you guys leave, please leave our, our the people watching with a piece of advice. Um, what I would say is approach trading as a business, you know, um, you understand that at times business does make losses, at mm. times it makes wins, mm. but overall we win. So mm. that's the same approach that I want people to, to actually have discipline on actually. The biggest thing that you need to understand when you want to trade Forex is that you need to understand how to take losses, right? When it comes to losses, know when to cut and when to hold. Also, take Forex as a career, not as a hobby. Focus on it and just only on it. Trust me, it's impossible that you'll never make it. Yeah. Uh, my tip is this, man. To all the believers and all those people who want to basically break outside the poverty cycle, just in order for you to get there, work never stops. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Rest, but yeah. yeah. And don't forget to trade using XNES. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you but guys, much. nonetheless, uh, FS Coach, your mentors, sign up. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. Yeah. Uh, a big thank you to XNES for making Market Masters possible and sponsoring the show. Yeah. And yeah, thank you so much, guys, for coming through, guys. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Great opportunity. Out.